What is it? This is super scary. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video if you want to know what I'm going to be talking about today. Alrighty, catch you in the chair. So, obviously, you clicked on this video because you want to know. Um, the secret thing I've been hiding from you guys. So, when I was in my mom's stomach. So, imagine me in my mom's stomach. Superstar and man, we're so in the mom's stomach. Alright, there I am in the mom's stomach. And doctors are telling my mom. Ma'am, your, your baby is gonna be a boy. Me? A boy? Seriously? Me? Say look, what? Look at me. Do I look nothing like a boy? So obviously I'm a girl. So the doctors were telling my mom I was gonna be a boy, but my mom always said, "No, my my baby in my stomach is gonna be a girl." Like she oh. felt it. Like you know when a mom feels something, she's always gonna be right. So I love my mama for saying that. So obviously I'm a girl, and so a couple months pass, and the doctor said something else. Your daughter's gonna have Down syndrome, and my mom's like, no, no, she's not. She's gonna be the. She's gonna, she's gonna be a healthy baby. She feels everything healthy in me, and they're telling her that I'm gonna be Down syndrome. So the day comes, day I was born, and they're like, are you sure? Do you want him or do you want to kill him? So my mom, being the way she is, she's like, no, it's my baby, and, and I'm gonna keep her the way she is. I don't care if she's Down syndrome or not, and she's gonna be a girl, I already told you. So at this point, she's already mad, and mm -hmm. she, she's pregnant, and she wants to get, like, I'm already, like, punching, kicking everything in there. And so I come out of the stomach, and I turn out being a girl, like how my mom said, and I'm not Down syndrome. So what was the problem with those doctors, like? I seriously don't understand it till this day until my mom tells me. Thank you, mom. I appreciate you. And what if I wasn't here? Like, what if my mom was like a different mom and she didn't want me? And obviously, I don't have anything wrong with me. I don't think I do. Sometimes I do act a little bit weird, though. So that's, I don't know if that's a defect from it. I went to preschool and I was a weird little girl. I used to cut my hair. I remember, like, I'll put a picture right here. And this is me when I'm in preschool and we had to take our pictures. And I, don't you guys see like a little hair right here? El trasquilaron. And like years passed by and sometimes like I would get bored. I would cut um, my bangs to be this short. So I would be like this and then like, I, like they were just going like this now. I didn't go to school here in McFarland. I actually went to a school um, near Delano and McFarland. It's, it was a really good school. I like going there. Um, I met a lot of new friends. Hopefully you guys still remember me. Maybe you guys watch my channel. I don't know. Uh, let me know. I went there kinder, kinder through sixth grade. And seventh grade, I went here to McFarland Middle School. And I didn't want to come here. When I came here to McFarland, the first day, first day, guys, my knee. Only some of you guys know this. But I started crying on the first day because I saw a guy with a beard. Like, seriously, I wasn't used to the environment, like, and that's a good thing that my mom put me here because, like, it got me out of my comfort zone because imagine me and Pond and graduating from 8th grade and then coming to McFarland High School, or I don't know where I would go to school, um, like, that, that would make me, like, I think that would make me a different person, I don't know, guys, but that's just the way I think. Um, so, middle school came around and I was so insecure about myself. I used to always care what people thought about me. When I was smaller, the girls used to look at me up and down. And what I mean, like, they looked at me up and down like like that. Like, what is she wearing? Like, what is she doing? I used to be that one girl that never talked. I always went like this. No, like, 
you want to come and hang out with us? Smile all the time like this. I had glasses, braces. That was me. And eighth grade year came around the corner. And my dad's all like, try this sport. And I'm like, oh my god, I didn't want I didn't want to try basketball. So I went out there for tryouts and I made the team. Like I was so surprised that I made the team, but it was like it was like pretty funny. But at the same time, like I I'm so happy that I tried out for basketball because I met tons of new friends guys. Like I met a lot of friends that they're my friends right now till this day. And basketball, like it made me like, open my eyes more. Even though I didn't know how to play it, I don't know how to play it till this day either. But like, it was pretty fun. Like being with friends is fun. So high school came and I was like, by then I was like already crazy already. And it was high school and they were like, wow. I was, like, I was just that one girl. I was that one girl that was always crazy at football games. I pumped up the crowd. And throughout my high school career, like, it was like, it was good. Like, except only one thing. I wish I could have made my channel my freshman year to show like how much I have grown throughout the years. Cause like, it's amazing when you guys see like superstar. And I'm like, hi. Like. It's it's a good it's a good feeling. In high school, I got out of my comfort zone. I got out of my bubble, and I became like super star. Marisol. I became that persona, like Marisol, superstar. Marisol. I encourage you, superstars, to get out of your comfort zone. Like try new things, new things that you never tried before. You're gonna try to be better than you. Thank you for watching this video. If you did like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And like I said, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, turn on the bell button to get notified, notified or notified when I post a new video. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys. See you there. And here, I'm telling you. Stupid.